all recall that initially I told you that we can also play games using this mathematics kit. So let us do it now. We will first play a game to identify the factors of numbers from a given collection of numbers. But what is a factor? A factor is a number that exactly divides any given number. To play this game, take out the pack of cards that is numbered from 1 to 100 from the kit box. Then make a copy of the sheet showing factors of numbers from 1 to 100, which is given as an extra 1 in the kit manual. Now do you want to see how we play the game? This game can be played by two players only. A third player or a teacher may act as a referee who has the sheet of factors containing numbers from 1 to 100. Take the pack of cards and arrange its card on a table facing upward in different rows. 1, 2, 3, 12, 13, 14, 53, 54, 55, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 98, 99 and 100. The game starts when the first player chooses a number, say 81. Then the second player has to pick up the cards containing the factors of 81, that is 1, 3, 9, 27 and 81. Now it is the turn of the second player to choose a number, say 65. Then the first player has to pick up all the factors of 65, that is 1, but see 1 is already picked up. 5, 13 and 65. The game continues in a similar manner that is one player chooses a number and the other player has to pick up the factors of that number from the remaining cards. When all the cards are being picked up the player having the maximum number of cards becomes the winner. But there may be a chance that a player may miss picking up some factors or may pick up the wrong factors. For this, the referee has to keep a check on such mistakes and a suitable penalty can be decided in advance. I hope you will definitely enjoy playing this game. Let us now learn to play another game on operation of integers. For this, take out the required material from the kit box, that is, a sheet marked from positive 104 to negative 104 different colored counters, a bag containing two red dice and two blue dice. Let us now understand how to play the game. This game can be played by two, three or four players. To start the game, the players have to keep their counters at zero. Let us have a close look at the dice. Assume that the numbers marked on the red dice represent positive and the numbers marked on the blue dice represent negative. Keep the dice in the bag and shuffle it thoroughly. The first player will take out two dice and throw them without looking at them. Since red represents positive, this is plus 3 and since blue represents negative, this is minus 4 and the product of the two becomes minus 12. So the first player keeps his counter at minus 12. Now take the dice again and put them in the bag. Shuffle the bag thoroughly. Now it is the turn of the second player to take out two dice from the bag without looking at them and throw them. This represents minus 2 and this represents minus 5. So the product becomes plus 10. So the second player will keep his counter at plus 10. 
and the game proceeds in a similar manner by multiplying the numbers that appear on the faces of the die. The player who first reaches 104, positive or negative, is declared a winner. But wait, there may be a chance that a player may find the wrong product. In such a case, the other player has to be very alert and keep a check on such mistakes. Suitable penalty for such mistakes may be decided in advance. This game may be played for addition and subtraction of integers also. I hope you will enjoy playing this game and definitely improve your calculative abilities also.